Welcome to another great episode of American Rifle and Television, brought to you by Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Now this week, we begin our look at the guns of the Vietnam War. American involvement started a half a century ago. And that's where this rifle, the AR-15, and then the M16 made their combat debut. For this week's Rifleman Review, I'm heading to the range with a Glock G43. That's a single stack, nine millimeter subcompact. Our eye of this old gun this week is an early Colt, the model 601. But right now, let's look at the guns of the Vietnam War. During the early years of Americanization of the conflict in Vietnam, starting in 1965 and really ranging to the Tet Offensive in early 1968, you're seeing the American military fighting the war in ways that resemble the way that it fought in previous conflicts. And to quote a Vietnam scholar named William Sorley, once Creighton Abrams takes over, America begins to fight a better war. In every respect, the American military evolves into something different, something that it has not been before. The American military is fighting a counterinsurgency war, and it's beginning to fight it with better skill. The United States military, although it still possesses the capacity to fight large unit actions, it still has the capacity to uh, conduct search and destroy missions on a large scale, the American military begins to investigate and to develop small units. When American combat troops fight in the Republic of Vietnam or South Vietnam, beginning in 1965 with the full Americanization of the conflict, we begin seeing this rifle in the hands of U.S. troops as the XM16E1, which is really the Colt Model 603, in its pre-adoption version. This is an interesting point of the development of the M16 because the Army and the Air Force are using different models. The Air Force adopted it first. The Air Force was using a version without the very familiar forward assist device. The Army chooses to go with the forward assist device. And so in the early phase, you're seeing rifles that will lead to M16 uh, with and without forward assist. And the military as a whole, all branches, move toward the full adoption of this weapon system, which ultimately then happens in 1968, where it's adopted across all branches as the M16. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.